Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing well. And as you can tell, I am been wanting to do this for a while to do a playthrough on the original Silent Hill. Now, this is going to be muted because copyright does not like this opening music. This kind of sets up the story. These two found this baby. Where did this baby come from? It's going to be our child. We raised the child. The child's soul has been separated. This is the other part of the soul. Harry Mason and his daughter drawn back to Silent Hill. They swerved because they see a figure in the road. And then Harry Mason has to go find his kid. And I always thought it was weird. Some parts in this trailer is not in the game. It made me go, what is that supposed to be about? Like, some of this is in the game. Like, that's in the game. That's the nurse you meet. That's near the beginning of the game. But, like, there's a, a Dahlia, I believe her name. She's, like, running as, like, there's pillars and there's, like, this green light. But I don't know where this is from. Is that I don't remember this in the game itself. And this is a setup to the... Her getting the call. She goes out. Sorry, I'm... Fumbling around. I don't want to miss the moment. And this sets up the, the story we have going here. Well, we're going to see that character from time to time, Sybil. This is our daughter character we're going to try to look for. That's near the beginning of the game. This, like, what? what is this deal? Like, there's pillars. It looks like she's in Rome. And this is like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I remember when I first played the game, I thought we were going to end up at that house. But that's not the case. But yeah, as this sits through, and I'm just going to let it play for a little bit, I remember getting this game back when it came out, have it on the PlayStation 1. I don't know if I can show it on here. I guess I can. There's a camera on the original PlayStation that you can barely see. Screw it, just do this for a second. There you go. Funny enough, with an advertisement of another classic, Metal Gear Solid. Two games, probably the two games I played on PlayStation 1 the most. I do want to pick up more PlayStation 1 games, but uh, haven't gotten to it yet. Like Apocalypse with Bruce Willis. I really want to pick that one up because I played that quite a bit back in the day. Siphon Filter, the first one. Uh, maybe one day i find a good deal on them. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Apocalypse, Siphon Filter. There's a one called One, which kind of like Bruce Willis' Apocalypse. So there's a couple. But I'll tell more. Uh, let me scoot my chair a little bit because sadly with the PS3, the uh, the damn cord on the controller is not that long. Uh, it's about four minutes in. I've been lolly gadding around. Yeah, I didn't take the. Uh, option. Uh, this looks about right. Well, normal. You start off after having the, the car wreck. Now, there are four endings you can get. The best ending, a good ending, a bad ending, and the shittiest ending. The shittiest ending, it ends with you back in this car and you never left it. You just died in the car crash and this is like all in your head before you die. That's the shittiest ending. So let's not try to get that one. 
But uh, yeah, I first, there's going to be dialogue at the beginning, so I'll wait. Where could you be? It's strange. It's quiet, too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. Cheryl. Where the fuck is Cheryl? Where the fuck did she go? He'll start talking a little bit, so... Footsteps. Who the hell is that bitch? Did I see you, the Wizard of Oz? You want a munchkin? Cheryl? Is that Cheryl? Nope, it's Cher. Where are you going? Shoot her. Hey, wait! Stop! In the name of love, before you break my heart. No, I can run, but yeah, pretty much going this alley. I like that you can see her a little bit in the distance. Oh, you can actually hear her too, if you do that. I like that you can see like a silhouette in the distance. But yeah, I could run, but this way I could just talk to you guys for a bit. I first found this game. Back in the day, you have these things called magazines, and there's video game magazines, and they had a disc, a video game disc, where you could watch demos, you could play demos, you could watch trailers, uh, gate open. So what happened was, and I think it's going... Beware a dog. Where's the dog? There's the dog. There's the air siren. What the fuck is this? It's called blood, buddy. Never seen blood before? There's the infamous air siren. That means shit's going down for real. But yeah, this was a... And I love the camera angle on this. I kind of wish they did this more in the game. This right here. I thought this was always a cool camera angle. I remember when I first played this... Back when it came out, like, wow, this was really cool. It's a dynamic, like, movie-style camera angle. Like, yeah, I thought that looked cool. <clears throat> but, but, yeah, the, uh, how do I put it? So, I saw the trailer. I was really intrigued by it. It's getting darker. I did get my lighter. Fire it up, fire it up, fire it up. So, got the got the game way back in the day. Was it Jacob's Ladder? Broken wheelchair, what's this doing here? Good question. And funny enough, the, the makers of the, the game said Jacob's Ladder was a big influence. Which made sense, is Jacob's Ladder is one of my favorite films. It's a great movie to be influenced by fuck is this it's called body I look at like you got the rain going down you got the creepy ass music it's like what the fuck is going on and in the camera work like there's a lot of reasons why I do enjoy this game I'll explain more later but yeah this music just gets creepier and creepier and you see how the world's changing uh, these creepy gates and blood everywhere. Like, what the fuck is going on? Just getting bloodier and bloodier. Until this. What is this? It's Leatherface. What's going on here? It's Hellraiser. Fucking shit. You can make a run, you can try to make a run for it, but can't, there's nothing you can do about it. I'll show you if I can. Because it'll just be blocked off. See, it'll say, 
Bought by a fence? See, this wasn't here before. Just, this has to happen. I remember when I first played this, I was I didn't know that. I got pissed off. I think the first time I played this, I went, fuck. And I restarted the game. And I'm like, fuck, why can't I beat this? And I'm like, oh, you're supposed to do this. God damn it. But yeah, the first time I played this, I'm like, fuck. And I restarted it. I don't know why I restarted it. I could have just waited, but I'm like, fuck. I'm just pissed. Hachi, mama, 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 sita, come sit on my face, uh, Sybil Bennett. It's such what they did with her in the movie. They fucking kill her off in a stupid way. I feel like I want to jump your bones. Run over by a truck. I'm all right, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Good. No. Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. With this weird Twin Peaks music. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. Don't be like Bruce Wells a good day die hard. I'm on vacation. I don't know what happened. I know what happened, I could tell you. I'd like to find out myself. Sure you do. <laughs> She's like, uh -huh. Just turned seven last month. Short, black hair. Well, like the little Debbie girl or the f snap packs? Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. And now I'm going to shoot you. Where is everybody? At the football game. Oh. I'll tell you if I knew, believe me. Actually, all at home is pandemic. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. It's 2021, everything's bizarre. What's your name? Colonel Mustard. Harry. Harry Mudd. Harry Mason. Oh, yeah. Perry Mason. Sybil Bennett. Sybil Shepherd. Police officer from Brown's, the next town over. All right, you tell me Bond. Phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. You lie. You fucking liar. Hmm. Yeah, it's Ali. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? Into your snatch. My daughter. I've got to find her. No way. Yes way. It's dangerous out there. No shit. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. So get the fuck out of my face, Scooter. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Yeah, don't be a shitty dad. Have you got a gun? In my pants. Um, no. I guess not. Circumcised? Take this. And hope you don't have to use it. I don't want your vibrator. Oh, okay. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. On your face? And don't do it unless you have to. Oh, that's a different shooting. And don't go blasting me by mistake. I'll blast you anyway. Okay, I'll do it in my dreams. Yeah, thanks. Ciao. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. Sure you will. All right, so I get my buttons. Okay. Equip that. Okay, that does that. So yeah, I got, this was a, back in the day, you had video games, PlayStation. You can't pick up this radio yet. This knife is useless, but I'll just pick it up just because. Grab this health too. But... Well, I was saying before, saw the trailer on a demo disc in a, what I'd got a magazine, got the game, loved it ever since. This was 1998, I had the PlayStation 1, I was playing Resident Evil 2, Metal Gear Solid, again Apocalypse of Bruce Willis, which I do want to play again, I need to pick that up sometime. Spider-Man for PS1, this is quite a few PS1 games I like. Sadly, I don't have a lot of them anymore. My safe... I'll look behind 
look behind him. As soon as I move, keep looking at the window. As soon as I move, there you go. I didn't have to move, but there was a winged creature there. Now, someday someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully, they will find my notes useful. This is how you save. Okay, I am playing on the PS3, so I had to set up beforehand to be able to save it. Pinball. Oh, you're a pinball wizard. No. Okay. But yeah, played this game ever since. Loved it. But back in the day, and sorry I'm just fucking around, but just to explain a bit. Well, I'll be running around, so I'll do it after I do this. Gotta do this first. What's up with the f- Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? The radio pretty much, if an enemy is nearby, it'll make a noise. Right now! Get up! This is a dream. What's happening to this place? What do you think? But yeah, that is the point of the radio. And... You know what, I'm going to save again, just because I don't have to do that anymore, just in case. I'll save a hundred times if I want to. It's been a while since I played this, at least ten years or so. There's going to be a bit of dialogue after this, so... We're for sure gone. Just I'll check the alley again. That's been so long since I played this, it's going to get back to me. Yeah, I know I gotta go there, but I do want to kind of explore and try to find uh, ammo and stuff. I'll speak to the devil. Alright. Alright. So why do I enjoy this game? Uh, first off, I like the map. That's not... I know it's a weird way, but I'm just looking at the map. But even this map system is good. There's your arrow... The point leads you to where you need to go, so it's easy to know which direction you're facing. Like, I'm facing down. And it's easy to understand. Funny enough, a lot of the streets, I think they're named after authors. Like, Bradbury Street, Ray Bradbury, Block. I think that's the guy who wrote Psycho Novel. Uh, Matheson, I think it's Richard Matheson. Bachman, it might be a... Uh, the Stephen Teen in them? Maybe. Richard Bobman? Maybe. Uh, let me see. Is this a... Uh... That Queen Murder, is that? Can I... Is that a place I can go in? I kind of want to search around for... I want to search around for uh, supplies. Fuck you. Fuck off. Okay, alleyway. Let me look over here, see if there's anything in here. Probably like a dog. No, it is fucking. Oh shit, there's two uh, bullets. Shit. God, get the bullets. Get closer. Fucking bastard. Well, they get this many bullets, I'll take it. Ah, fuck you. I want to see... Is there anything down here? So as I'm looking around for supplies, just to explore a bit, just fuck. Well, not just fuck. But just to... See if there's anything around. Uh, number one, the graphics. A lot of people complain about PS1 graphics, but to me it's PS1. It's not meant to be a PS3 game. 
or a PS4 game. It's a PS1 game. I think for a PS1 game, it actually looks rather good. I love the fog. I know in the movie they said this is ash, but to me I always thought it was snow. So I think of it as snow. I think that's the right decision because a lot of times in the old uh, games, the background would have to... How do I put it? Load up the backgrounds. Because it's a PS1. It's an early stage. But by doing this, they're able to load the backgrounds and not take you out of the... They take you out of the, the situation, so to speak. God, piss off, you fucking asshole. Hey, give me this. You fucking... You bastard. I shoot you in the face just because. But fuck it. But yeah, I, I like the graphics. I love that you're not be able to see a tremendous amount. Convenience store. Is that anything? Shit. Fuck off. Fuck off. Okay, is this... There is a store here, right? Is there anything in the store? Oh shit, there is. I don't think I've been in here. Because <laughs> I never tried to explore before. Oh shit, there's a... Uh... How many health do I have? Two? My friend Michael Keane, who has two channels, The Choice Voice and his video game channel Phantasm, P-H-A-N-T-A-S-S-M, he played this game. He wasn't really a big fan of it, but that's fine. Uh, I grew up with the game, so I think that helps in the fact that I am able to... I'm more used to it, and plus nostalgia factor and, and more so, but... I'm just sure if he sees this, he's like, what the fuck? There was like three things of health? Fucking shit. Oh, I almost missed this one. Yeah, it's like three things of health. He's like, fucking shit. If Michael sees this, feel free to write if YouTube lets you. Fucking shit. But I love Michael. He's a good buddy. But I, yeah, I love the fog. And then when it's the darkness... Fuck you. <clears throat> it makes it so that it's creepier that you can't see tremendously everywhere and anywhere. Where you need to go is understandable with the map, but just what's lurking in the fog, what's lurking in the shadows. It creates an interesting, scary uh, atmosphere, in my opinion. least to me. Fuck you. Fuck you. I want to explore that. I don't want to waste my bullets though. Fuck you. <clears throat> okay, so I remember where the hell I need to go. Got turn. Okay. I don't know which places I could go into. I just, I just saw that store because I saw the the word convenience store on the the thing. See here, it says convenience store. So I'm like, oh, maybe that's the thing. Kind of like cafe. But okay, I gotta go in here. There may be other places with ammo, but oh well. Maybe I'll find it later or something, I don't know. Yeah, this sounds like a great place. Seems like a great place. I gotta go back here again. Oh, fuck these dogs, man. Oh, of course, there's a fucking... 
They know there'd be a creature right there at the fucking gate, man. Come on, what cheap skate? What the fuck, asshole? <sighs> fucking monster right in my way. Uh, the voice acting, I think, is actually decent for PlayStation 1. I really do feel that. Uh, compared to, like, Resident Evil, and I like the Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, but I think the voice acting here is a bit better. It's less cringy, in my opinion. The music is top-notch. I think it has a great, creepy, atmospheric feel to it. And, uh, like, you're able to walk while uh, aiming and shooting. Resident Evil couldn't even do that Resident Evil 4. And I love Resident Evil 4, but walk and shoot in a PlayStation 1 game. Oh, cool, more ammo. I'll take it. And just a lot of details. Again, the, the voice acting, the... That's a steel pipe you can use to hit. I'm never good with that, so I'll use the gun until I have to use that. Is it the Cheryl sketchbook? Yes. No shit. That means I gotta go there. Alright. Midrich Elementary School. And what's this? Sketchbook covered this picture, it's me. First picture the Cheryl drew in the sketchbook that I gave on her fifth birthday. A little bit establishing the the daughter character. But yeah, just to recap, I love the environment. I love when it changes into the darkness, a lot of creepy, weird images. I think for PS1, it looks rather good for PS1 standards. I love the snow, the camera angles like this, camera movements. Uh, I think details like the map, it's easier to understand and use. Like you get up close, the arrow, the point at the end shows which direction you're in. It shows you if you've been through doors or if a door's locked. Uh, when you're inside, which is very helpful. The inventory, there's no limit. So it's not, oh shit, I gotta go back because I don't have enough room because I got too much health. Fuck it. I want to save my bullets. Oh, you fucking... I didn't want to use one of those, but you guys are assholes. So fuck y'all. Yeah, haha, -ha, you got caught, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you and the whore you rode in on, you fucking... Fuck you. Fuck you! Fuck off! Son of a bitch. I do remember where I need to go here. Cause there's a dog house, but you can't get the key. Cause you gotta look at something else for the key. But what's left? I just, I kinda just wanna double check. What's over here? And what's over here? Because I'm just checking for supplies and stuff. Um. Oh shit. Damn it. Get the fucking... Fuck off. Alright. So I'm not going to go further right, because that's the cafe. For what I remember, you can't go down because it'll block you off. It'll, it'll block you off because it has all these chasms everywhere. You can't go, so I don't want to waste people's time. Because we'll get up to a chasm up here, and that's litter around town. I do remember that. There's some things I remember about this. But yeah, the, the graphics, I, the soundtrack is fantastic. Yeah, these are the chasms, like the 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 ground just gave in and there's nothing left. 
Dodge House Levin Street. Again, this gives a weird, quirky, crazy vibe. Like you're isolated, you're by yourself, you're in the middle of nowhere. The fog, the darkness, like you can't see straight. So it keeps you on edge. Well, I think so much in this game works. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but it's mine. I love the Silent Hill games. Someone else. Fuckers. Oh, there's a dog right there. House key was hidden in the dog house. Take it. Damn, there's a bloody ass dog house. Look at that. Um, you stay there, bitch. Yeah, use it. Get the fuck in there. Ah, another health. Thank you. I'll take it. Fuck yeah. A, B, and C delicious. But yeah. I, I just, uh, I love all the Sound Hill games. For the most part. Uh, Sound Hill 2 is my favorite. In fact, Sound Hill 2 is probably one of my favorite games ever. Uh, let's see. Just don't want to miss anything. Silent Hill 3 I like. Silent Hill 4 I like the concept. The execution I think would have been better. Yeah, I'll save that a little bit, but... the, the Again, the ex execution could have been a bit better for me. That's just me, though. It's empty. Okay, I'm just seeing if there's anything... This shows you the locked doors. This shows you over here where you need to get these keys. Keys for Eclipse. Something's written on the map, hanging on the wall. Keys for Eclipse. The three keys. So what that means is if you go to the map, you see there's an arrow there. There's this red line here. And there's this kind of circle. That's where the keys are at. So, if you get that one, go up, and then there. Best way to do it. And I'm going to save. Oh, save. So, let's see. I talked about the game. Why I love it. I sell out to is my favorite. Yes, I even like Homecoming. Downpour, I don't mind. So yeah, I, there's not a lot of Silent Hill ga games uh, I dislike. Homecoming, I think, is a bit underrated. I don't get what's so bad about Homecoming. But, uh, hey, what do I know? I, I never understood the hate for it. I would say Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 1 are my favorites, though. Let's see, I gotta go left. Wait. Okay, I make sure I'm going the right way. But yeah, I, I mean, I guess there's the movie, which, okay, the movie, it's half a good movie, in my opinion. What do I mean by that? The visuals, the technical notes are superb. The music is from the game. They did a great job uh, making that choice. Uh, the... Special effects, the visual look to it. Fuck. Okay, I go right. I, I think it's a good looking movie. It captures the look of Silent Hill, the, again, the music, some of the monster stuff they have in it. There's some really cool stuff with that. But I don't care for the changes they made. I don't think it's nearly as scary or psychological or creepy as the games. And that's a fucking shame. I mean, the games are really good at that. Oh, shit. Bastard. 
Yeah, piss off. Ran away like a bitch in heat, you fucker. After you did that, you fucking asshole. Yeah, run away, you fucking bitch. Yeah, I gotta go over here to this alleyway. But yeah, I don't care for the changes they made. Like making Harry Mason a girl. I'm like, why? And they go, well, it can't, we gotta have it be a mother because a mother makes more sense. As opposed to a father wanting to save his daughter, that quote doesn't make sense. Yeah, we're the sexist ones. Fucking ridiculous. Ironda Mitchell's not a bad actress, but. I'm sorry, that's not what I wanted in the Sound Hill. Unless there's Sound Hill 3. But not this crap, where. You don't have Harry Mason, which makes no sense. I would have picked uh, Thomas Jane. Like, you take his character from The Mist. And you put in this. I think it would work very well. Here you get the a dog someone played basketball with. Pretty fucked up. And I think yeah, you don't you can't go in these. I mean Rod and Mitchell's not bad, but the fact is like no, we can't have a guy do it. That's fucking bullshit. Imagine okay, you know what? I'm gonna make Tomb Raider, I'm gonna recast it. How about that? And have it be a guy. And no one can say shit. For be like, well, what's the big deal? I would be like, what's the big deal? Fuck it, what's the big deal? I'm making Tomb Raider, and I'm like, I want to be a guy. I want to be a guy, because I choose to. You can't say shit. Exactly, people will lose their fucking minds. They will lose their fucking minds. So wait, I gotta go... Do I gotta go left? Yeah, I gotta go left. But... Double standards bullshit. So anyway, uh, liquor. Um, can I can't go in here, can I? Nah. Okay, just go forward. <clears throat> but yeah, that kind of stuff just pisses me off. But that's not the the only thing. Like I didn't care for how they changed up the story. Like you looked at the story of the game. Fuck off, you fucking dweeb. <sighs> I'm trying not to use my fucking ammo. Come on, Leon Spinks! Come on, join the Olympics! Okay, now go all the way forward. I gotta go past. Yeah, just keep going. Come on. Go off for the Olympics. Fuck. Oh, uh, if there were not two of you, I'd stop and kill both of you. I fucking fuck it. Come for you. I'll come for you, sucker. Get the fuck back here. Oh, I see. Now he runs away like a bitch. Now he won't come after me. Fucking fascist. Fuck are you now, asshole? Now you won't come after me, you fucking dickwad. Where the fuck are you? Piece of shit. Oh, I see. Yeah, now you won't fucking come after me, you fucking nimrod piece of shit. Now you disappear into thin fucking air. Cockamamie horse shit. 
And somehow I reloaded. I don't remember reloading, but okay. When the hell did I reload? No, uh, that's not what I want to go. I want to go to the, the doghouse. You fuck. You gotta be kidding me. Shoot! God damn it! Fuck it. I just have 15 again. That's one flaw I will say is the auto aiming is suspect. Because sometimes like you're aiming this and you want to aim at the other enemy and it doesn't quite do it. And it's like a tricky thing where uh, it, gets, it gets pretty annoying I will say. I can admit that. That's one little flaw with the auto aiming. It's a bit of an annoying thing. I can admit that. And then these cheap shot motherfuckers. And then the camera. Fuck you doing? Shit. Fuck you guys. Calm down, man. You ain't having sex. You ain't having sex yet. Maybe you do a simple bed, then you have sex. Just save, dude. Just save it. <clears throat> Alright, let's go get these keys. But yeah, the movie, I didn't care for actually a way it's going to change the darkness. So it's like a little cutscene. Kind of. What the fuck? It's getting dark again. What's going on? See, this is again when I first played this, I went, oh shit. I love the way, like, the darkness. Like, this is how dark it is. I thought it was an interesting way to have a flashlight on your jacket like this. So you're not holding it. I thought that was kind of a cool idea. Not just visually, but... Uh, and just creates more of that nice, creepy atmosphere. I think that works rather well in this game. And the music helps too. But yeah, the, the movie... I like the visuals. Special effects were fine for what they needed to be. It's just with the. This is a creepy angle, too. Yeah, I remember that. That's I always thought that was a very creepy idea with the music, too. And I gotta get to the school, so I gotta go left. Um, maybe I can just go left all the way, then right. I'll try it. Okay. But like the pacing, it was a bit too long. None of Sean Bean's moments you needed in the movie. Oh, fucking cheap shot bitch. Cheap shot motherfuckers. Kiss my ass, fuck face. Aha, I'll take that. The dogs, the dogs are pretty easy to run away from, I'll say. It's the flying assholes you gotta worry about. But like the pacing, I thought it was too long. The dialogue, even for a Sound Hill movie, I thought. Could have been a lot better, especially you got Roger Avery who worked with Tarantino and Pulp Fiction, and that's the guy writing the Silent Hill movie. I think the guy who helped Tarantino and Pulp Fiction could write a better script, better dialogue. Like there's acting moments that are cringeworthy, and why does the town 
have like 50 fucking people. Like one of the appeals is it's empty. Like this whole place is empty except there's like you and like three, four other people. That's it. You take away the, the isolation and creepiness when you have like fucking 15 fucking people. Not even 15, like 50 fucking people there. Just pissed me off, man. It really did. Like, what the fuck? I didn't understand why you had like 50 people for their store of this cult. And then the ending, it became like a CGI Hellraiser. And I'm like, that's not Silent Hill. Like, Silent Hill is more subtle, creepy. It was never creepy. That's the thing. It was never creepy. It was never atmospheric. Which is what Silent Hill should be. You want to see what atmosphere? Session 9. The 1990 Jacob's Ladder. That's the kind of atmosphere a Silent Hill film needs. But I don't know what the fuck. Like, Christoph Gans got the visuals and music, but it's like... He didn't understand the psychological aspect. And like, Pyramid Head should not be in that fucking game either. He just shouldn't. Because that's a Silent Hill 2 character. And you're wondering, like, what's the difference? More Ronaldo Gordon. This must be the list of the teachers. I don't know what the point of this is. Because I don't think that ever comes into play. These names. And this pretty much gives you clues. Uh, the stuff you need. Golden and Old Man's Palm. The future hidden in his fist. Exchange for Sage's Water. Pretty much there's a fist, you need some chemical, and you burn it to get something. Flames render the silence awakening the hungry beast, open time's door to beckon prey. That's pretty much how you end the level. A silver guidepost is untapped in lost tons, awakening at the ordained order. A place with songs and sounds. A piano puzzle to uh, do something else which that piano is going to be a pain in the butt it's a puzzle that I remember this is a weird painting which you find this later and you go through this door I don't know who drew it but it's certainly in bad taste but yeah Pyramid Head should not have been in the fucking movie because Pyramid Head the reason it's in Silent Hill 2 it's the character in that game, James, you find out his wife was deathly sick. S not only deathly sick, but agitative, mean, cruel, just giving James all sorts of shit. And it's like part of him killed her to ease her suffering, but part of it was also a selfish point of, I'm tired of all this happening, I'm tired of you beating me down verbally, ruining my life, all that jazz. And it's the guilt. Pyramid Head represents the guilt that James has, the violent guilt of doing that. And like these guys didn't understand this is part of the fucking story of Silent Hill. Maybe not so much the this first game, but like the, a lot of the game is very psychological. To I would say yeah three to a point because three is more of a sequel to this but two you know even uh four four is a pretty trippy i i love the plot of silent hill four it's just the gameplay like the when you have to go through the whole fucking game again like all these environments and it's a goddamn escort mission that's where the game lost me yeah keep this girl from getting hit otherwise you get a shitty ending i'm like i don't want that shit I hate that shit. Pissed me off. But yeah, the... See, that I was talking about with the map is that it lets you know I've been through there, that's lot, that's lot. Like the red, the the bold red, that means it's lot. Arrow means I've been through. And uh, this is where you fear these monsters, which I'm gonna fucking kill. Yeah, piss off. You piss off too. 
I could try to hit him with the pipe, but fuck it. I got bullets. I got what? Um, over a hundred, so I'll, I can deal. <laughs> Again, creepy music. This is a clock tower you need to get in. I remember that. Hands are stopped at 10 o'clock. And these two are over here you need to find uh, to get inside. Okay, and I need to go this way. Now these creatures, I didn't realize, these creatures, they changed. Now, I didn't, it's almost an hour, so I'll probably cut in a little bit, but what Spark, one of the things that Spark did was I was going through YouTube and I saw someone else play this game. I went, oh, you know what? I haven't played this game in a while. Let's see how he plays it. And he's playing it and these creatures are not like this. Where they kind of look like a kid that have a knife. No, it, it looked more like an orange, like brown troll-like thing where was in his hands. I mean, what the fuck is that? It looked like this looks so much better. And I'm like, so they changed it. Whether it be the HD remake, the emulator, the network version. So they changed it. To bullshit. Fucking pissed me off. What the fuck? So that's why you... You keep the... Yeah, fuck you. Look at this. I'm walking and shooting. Can't even do that in Resident Evil 4. Walk and shoot. But I can do it in Silent Hill for PlayStation 1. Well, I can walk and shoot, but again, can't do that in Resident Evil 4. That, that's crazy. But again, this game has a lot of merit to it. Again, the inventory system. Not having a limit, so I don't have to go back and forth in a box. I just keep going and play it. The, it's easy to understand. The map system. Easy to understand. Where have I been? Oh, it shows where I've been, where I've been, where I haven't been, what I've been through, what's locked. The little markings. Oh, there's something there. I need to go back to check it out. Or that's a clue in case I need to check it again. The... The voice acting is pretty decent. Rich atmosphere. Like a lot of things that, that work well. But yeah, final thoughts on the, the movie. Oh, this is like a weird... I, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this fucking weird thing. Is you can't shoot it. It's like, what the f I remember when I first played it, I'm like, what the fuck is that? Like, you can't shoot it. It just doesn't like light. It is just so fucking weird, man. That's what I mean. There's a lot of weird shit in this game. And I really enjoy it for that. But, uh... Let's see, look in storage. <clears throat> okay, a lot. Let me look over here. But yeah, I like the visuals, music of the movie, but I think the story changes, changing the protagonist, putting Pyramid Head, which he didn't belong. I'm sorry, he did not belong in that fucking movie. It's like putting him in the movie, you're doing it because you want a, in a weird way, a mascot for your film, not because you understand the stories. And uh, I think that's kind of stupid. And it's not creepy. Like, these games are creepy to me. But the Silent Hill movie wasn't creepy. Again, watch Session 9, the 1980s Age of Ladder. That's how you make a Silent Hill movie creepy-wise. But, uh... I'll play for a couple more minutes. So, making even hour. I like the school... A Friend in Need... Bullshit, it looks like a pedophile. And the fact that this isn't a school makes it even more disturbing. Fuck, every lock is jammed. Who jammed all these locks? We're jamming. Who jammed all these fucking locks? With bubble gum? What, what, what does this say? Can barely read it. Nah, I can't read it. Oh, yeah, the speaker witch. The HD Master on PS... Well, no, the PS3 
HE Master with Silent Hill 2 and 3. And that sucked. It really did. Let me check the bathrooms first. Oh, that's Jam 2. Oh, okay. Oh, damn it, there's nothing in here. That was a waste of ammo. Oh, well. Check this then. Nothing here either, huh? Okay, I'm going to save over here, just in case. Because at one point, there was another game I was playing. This is another day. I was playing it, and then the fucking power went out for like a second. And because of that, I lost the fucking game. And that was like two and a half hours wasted, and because I didn't save it. So I was like, okay, you know what? It's a nice day. But because there's a little bit of thunder, the power went out. So, granted, it was for a split second, but it still pissed me off. I didn't save it. I lost like two and a half hours of stuff, so. Go figure. So I was pissed off, and then now I want to play this game <laughs> instead. And this time I'm going to save. See so if, if it does. I just go back to this and edit it together. But yeah, the HD remaster of the Sound Hill 2 and 3 collection, uh, don't buy. It's not worth it. I mean, you may not be able to get it, but try to get the original PS2 version of Sound Hill 2 and 3. I think some of them were on Xbox as well. Because the HD remaster collection, they just... there's bad mistakes there's bad glitches the the fog doesn't look good at all the the voice acting at times they fucked up like there's a lot of things they fucked up like, i remember there's a a bit with you go down a stairwell in sound hill 2 and there's this creepy air siren and the remaster is gone it's just gone like they just a lot of little stuff like details where a billboard will have uh words on it and the remaster, the remaster, you can't read the words, but the old PS2 version, you can read it. So I just, I'm like, how the hell do people do this and get paid for it? I have no fucking idea. Fucking creepy. Distilled water, no reason to take it. Okay. Ah, oh, there's the chemical you need. Need that. Fuck you. Step on your dick. Let's see. Oh, chemistry lab. I missed that. Yeah, I need to go in here. Yeah, this is the this thing from Adam's family. The fish shut tight as if never to let go. Well, that's why you get this chemical. Pretty much, does it say it's acid? Hydrochloric acid. You use it, and then beam, bam, boom. And there you go. Now, I think what you need to do, if I remember correctly, you need to put this in the clock tower. Oh, fuck you. Oh, shit. Fuck, though. You know what? I don't care. I'll shoot you in the back. Fucker. Should have had your back turned on me. Tell your friends about me. Let's see. I think I can go through here, right? Yeah, I can. Can I go through here? Yeah. 
Oh, uh, I think if I remember correctly, this is more of those uh, black shadows. Yeah. Yeah, these little fuckers. Piss off. Piss off. Fuck it. I know it's over an hour, but I kind of want to... I'll go a little bit longer. See, so going through these... Uh, actually, let me double check to see if there's anything health-wise, ammo-wise. That'd be funny if there was something in the wastebasket. A for asshole, I saw that. Fuck you. Yeah, there's another thing in here. See, that creates like some creepy, and you see like the figure. That's what the, the darkness does well. Oh shit. Fuck you. Fuck you, step on your dick. Okay, let me... Uh, fuck, I didn't go through... This way. Just so I'm going over the place. You know what, let's end it here. Keep you guys in suspense. See you guys in a bit.